We are so happy to have Andre Eng with House of Knives, the knife guru, joining us this afternoon. And we are talking about deboning a chicken because it can really be a cost-effective way of grilling your meat. For sure. You know, Sonia, do you buy your chicken whole or... Um, to be honest, most of the time I'll just buy chicken breasts. Yeah. yeah. So one of the great things that people don't realize in today's day and age is, is health and cost, right? So you save up to half price by buying a chicken whole, and then you know if you know and empowered with the right tools, you can bone it yourself. There are great benefit of it from eco-friendly standpoints. When you buy chicken whole, it comes in a bag. When mm -hmm. you buy in pieces, it's all that styrofoam and all the air packaging, right? Yeah. And the other great thing is people don't realize soup doesn't come out of a can, right? <laughs> you can make it yourself. You know, kids are like, what? I can, doesn't chicken stock come out of a Campbell's? I Actually, I think that's pack. about the only time I've ever bought a whole chicken is when I'm making um, a soup from scratch. Yeah, and people don't realize the carcass is, is a big part of that. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to show people here, this, this process we're going to do is, is the same as if you were going to carve a bird, whether it be cooked or raw. Okay. So here we have specialized, what we call bony knives. This is a very traditional style bony knife here, but the newer, more popular style is more like this Japanese style here where it has a slight curvature to it. It's great for flaying or boning. So if you want to come over here, we're going to start by taking off the leg first. So you okay. can, I would suggest that one there. Okay. Okay, and so, what do you want to do? So all we're going to do here is this is your, your thigh and your leg here. Mm -hmm. We're going to make, just pull this apart and start the incision along the leg, along the carcass there. Okay. Which will be so about here. easy. Yep. Yeah. And, and just start pulling away. So slow down there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so what you're going to do there, so you've done a great job here all the way down here. And basically you're looking for the joint area here. And you can actually hear it. Oh, you, see you just cracked pop it. it. Yeah. And use your knife and just make an incision right along the joint there. You really do need a sharp knife <laughs> for this. Now you're into the bone a little yeah. bit there. So you got the joint area there. Oh, okay. And you just pull it away here and oh, you can okay. just make the cut there. And just cut it along over yeah. here. Okay, there so you really go. just follow the way the bird Exactly. Would move, so right? that's your leg, your thigh there. Okay. So for the other portions here, the wing, you just turn it over and same thing. You're looking for the joint area so you can make an incision right along there. Okay, yeah. Right over here. Yeah, just pull and away. Pull away. Yeah, perfect. You got the joint there. Done. Easy, right? Okay, there we go. Wow. I'm a professional now. <laughs> <laughs> so, and if you're doing the breast here, this is your keel bone right along the middle. You're going to make an incision right along, just too slightly to the left of that middle line. And same thing, you're going to start pulling away that breast meat. Okay. Nice, sharp enough? Yes, it's very sharp. Okay. I think I maybe could have gone a little bit closer. Yeah. But That all comes with practice, right? And then do you want to pull it so away? So as you, as you... As you pull away the meat here, you can take the knife here and slowly just kind of cut away at it here. I you don't see. want to cut okay. through that bone portion. So small steps, right? Small steps, right. And now I have a, um, a cut resistant glove on. Yes. How important is that for someone when they're just learning to do this? Well, it can be critical. You know, knives can be intimidating for people, especially even kids. We have kid sizes now because, you know, we want to empower them to use the right tools. Yeah. Right? Okay, so now we're going to move now on. Now we're going to go to, now have you heard of the term spatch? caulking before? Um, I have from you just about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> okay. There's a whole spatch caulking community out there. So we're going to show people, basically it's butterflying a chicken. So if you look at the finished result we have here, it's a very popular way to prepare your chicken because mm. it grills faster, it cooks faster. It's even, right? More evenly cooked and uh, yeah, it just saves time. Okay. Right? So what we're going to do here, and this process is a lot easier than people think. So what I've done here is a bit of a cheat here. So there's, if you search YouTube, there's one, two ways to do it. Some people, professionals, will use a knife to do the whole process. Mm -hmm. Some we use uh, kitchen shears. I'm going to show you the best of both worlds. Okay. So a key thing when you're starting with a chicken is we turn it over, we've got the back, the spine portion here. So this is what they call the, the oysters of the chicken. So it's kind of the, the small of the back, if you will. It's a very meaty part. So kind of a cheating way, I've done the incision here for you already. Mm -hmm. So some people would take just a, a pair of kitchen shears and cut right along the spine, but then you lose some of this great meat here. So what I've done here is you kind of identify it and you do that pre-cutout. And then the, now to take out the spine, we're going to use the poultry shears. Okay, so, so that's these ones? Yeah, this is a typical kitchen shear, but mm -hmm. the poultry ones you'll find much easier. So if you want to compare, let's try these ones first. Okay. And all you're going to do is cut along the spine right along here and all the way through. And just all the way through or just underneath the skin? Yep, so you can put the scissor right in there. Right here? You can cut through bone as well. So open the scissors nice and big. Yep, go ahead and cut. You'll hear some crunching a little as bit, you go. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, keep on going. You can go keep all on. the way down through. 
<laughs> I don't really like the feeling of it. To be the sound can honest. throw you off. Yeah. Okay. So you can go all the way through if you like. Now try. Try this one. Those ones. Okay. Those it are spring assisted too. So people who have arthritic problems, it's really good. Very. Oh easy. yeah, those work so a lot easier. So go all easier. the way through. Okay. And you can do the same now. So that's one side, and mm -hmm. now you follow the spine and go all the way through on the other I side. I see. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're just about out of time here. Yep. So once you're done with this, oh, I think I got it here. <laughs> These are great also for uh, lobster, crab, any uh, seafood as well, right? As you can see, it goes through bones very easily. Yeah. Just because okay. you're making to be a bit of a mess out of this now. <laughs> okay. Do you but want basically, up? well, you know what? I think we have the finished product over here. Yeah. So once you get it open, the last step that we do on this one, that's where you want that nice sharp knife. Is you just make a small incision here at the keel bone portion, mm -hmm. and then basically. You just open it up here. And so this keel bone is in the center portion of the chicken. And we just pop it out. Just pop that out and then basically lay it flat, put your seasoning on, and then grill it after that. Yeah, so you see here the bone comes right out. All right. There and you go. Right Andre, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. And that's us. the finished product there. There it is. All right, now we know how to debone a chicken. <laughs> thank you. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Thanks, Anya.